In this video, I'm going to show you the day I helped my neighbor with the replacement of the front fascia on his 2022 C8 Corvette Stingray. He purchased an aftermarket carbon fiber part he wanted to install and said he would need another set of hands for certain tasks. The TA said I should help him because it would be nice, and I always usually listen to the TA, my task assigner, because, you know, happy wife, happy life. So here we are. My buddy attended class at the University of YouTube, where someone demonstrated how to disassemble most of what he needed. Then he thought he could figure out the rest on his own. Specific to this project, he purchased a hydraulic car lift since the front wheels have to be removed, and by the time I arrived that morning, the Corvette was already airborne. He had also started taping off the area around the headlights to avoid scratching them. On this aftermarket carbon fiber part he wants to install, he's a bit concerned about the two front cameras lining up properly, so that will be something to pay attention to as we go further. I hope they're the right size, because these look smaller than these. So, you see these holes mm -hmm. look smaller than these. So, mm -hmm. we're going to find out how all this fits. The easterly Arizona sun was beating him up, so my major contribution was to supply the shade canopy. And even though the home team isn't doing very well right now, Murray in some trouble and Bosa got him. At least it still provides much needed shade, so we don't bake too much. Honestly, I would be a bit hesitant to tear down my Corvette to this extent to do what he's going to do. Not that I have one, but he's been into vets since he was a wee lad, and I think this is his sixth one or so and he's confident we can get it done. I dare you to do better. All right, let's get into this. We're trying to be organized, and he has packing blankets set out so he can lay out all the parts in the area similar to where they came from, which will hopefully make it easier for reassembly. Clips. So check your clips. Ah, I left a clip behind. So I gotta get that out. All clips present. And that's why, did you see how that thing flamed? So I should have gotten the wider tape. I'm not concerned because this is PPF, but that's why you tape the edges. Because that piece, when I pulled it, the one it's side flailing went around. right against the panel. Yeah. Clips. Okay. Clip, 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 clip. Okay. We're good. Dry as a bone. People have wa uh, problems with water collecting in these, mm -hmm. and they're they're dry for me. Regardless of how much you trust that lift, let's put some jack stands under here anyway, just to be on the safe side.
Oops. So one screw on the bottom. And then this is carbon fiber. So the clips stay in there. Okay. And did it break? Yeah, it did. This one broke. This one's okay. Intact. Nope, this one broke. Oh man. That's the worst one too. Flimsiest one. So it does collapse easier if you have all of the screws yeah. out of it. <laughs> While he's removing the front spoiler, if you find you're interested in any of the tools or other gear I use for projects, there are links to them in the video description. the video I don't I don't know if this one needs a Ooh. a press let me watch the video okay. this tab you're supposed to press to do the final release from this notch that's here mm -hmm. and it would not release on mine so I had to stick a small screwdriver up there and manually release this side the secondary latch to get the uh, uh, the two plugs to pull apart and what does this go to passenger side but headlight or what mm. probably the camera okay and the front radar maybe I don't even Just for reference, these are the uh, top front frunk screws. There were six of them, T15s. Here we go. Three forward and down. No electrical. That's good. You can lay it this way. Okay. So, the AGM stuff that I have in the back, these clips. They didn't put real clips in, they made them out of resin, mm. and then they baked it. So when you try to slide the camera in, and it spreads, they get about this far, and they go, and it's gone. Great. So that's why when I saw the Chinese one, I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> they actually put the mechanism that's supposed to go on there.
So we're over here on the left hand side. This piece here on the lower left corner is uh, right there, just too short to match up to the peg that's on the right hand side and the screw hole that's on my left hand side. So I'm gonna dremel this a little bit and maybe this a little bit and we're gonna get it to fit. And then for a fresh new hell, we discovered the aftermarket supplier, even though they used the preferred mounting brackets for the cameras, mounted them 90 degrees off. Here you see the clips on the top and bottom, but on the OEM part, it's on the left and right. There's also a tab on the camera that has to match up to a slot inside the bracket, and now it's not going to, at least not in the correct orientation. So it's back to the Dremel. The Corvette has been reassembled and is cleared for landing, and the front end is looking pretty good. It fits pretty tight. We're also curious how the cameras are going to look now that it's all put back together, so we're going to pull it out and check it. See how they're, they're angled and see how this is not blended well? Yeah. So it, it didn't look like that before, but they may be able to fix that. So this is a little bit of a better view because it's just the independent cameras and it has less of the blended view. And then that turns off the... So these are supposedly where your tires are. This is supposedly where... So that's just not going to take effect. But I want to look at these because it shows the tips being right on the edge of the pavers. So I'm going to get out and look and see what that actually looks like. Jumping back to the beginning, this is what we started with. And here's the car with the front end completely off. And then we arrive at the finished product. Check the notes in the description for the solution to the camera misalignment. It's a little counterintuitive. Now it's time to enjoy the fruits of my efforts. Feel free to join me. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other ones.